Hi everyone, Miss Jen here, and I'm here to teach you English fluently. In today's video, I will be sharing with you five popular travel phrasal verbs that we use in English. This lesson is part three. I will include two links above, travel video part one and travel video part two, where I was teaching travel vocabulary and activities in part one. And part two are five other travel phrasal verbs that I taught. So check those two videos out as well. But for this one, I'm going to teach you five more popular travel phrasal verbs that we use in English. So let's get right into it. So the first popular phrasal verb that we use in English is get away. We use this phrasal verb in English when we want to say we need a vacation or a holiday. For example, oh, we really need a getaway. We're going to go to the Maldives for a month. So get away, we use in English when we're talking about a vacation or holiday that we really want to have. Now, when you arrive at your destination, you might stay at a hotel, right? So two popular phrasal verbs that we use in English with staying at hotels would be check in and then check out. When you check into a hotel, that's when you arrive at a hotel, you give your information so they know who you are, and then you receive a hotel key. Then when you're ready to leave the hotel, you check out. That's when you pay and you finalize your stay. So check in when you arrive at the hotel and check out when you leave the hotel. Then the fourth popular phrasal verb that we use in English is more in a negative kind of way, which would be hold up. For example, maybe you arrived at your destination late and someone in English might ask, why are you late? Where have you been? Oh, I'm so sorry. I was held up at work, if you're speaking in the past tense. What we're saying is there was a delay in our travel. There was some sort of problem that we experienced. So we were late uh, during our journey. So if you're experiencing a problem or a delay while traveling, we use the phrasal verb hold up or held up in the past tense. Hold up is an irregular verb. Then the next phrasal verb that we use, so the fifth most popular phrasal verb would be hurry up. We use this to let someone know, oh my gosh, we are running late, hurry up, we need to go, we need to arrive on time. Hurry up is a popular phrasal verb that could also go with hold up in a way, because if you are running late, and you are experiencing a problem, maybe there's a delay, you're held up for a certain reason, someone in English might say, oh gosh, we need to hurry up. We will be late for our flight. So these are five very popular phrasal verbs that we use in English. So this is part three to my video. And these videos that I have been making are free videos to introduce my next live lesson, which will be on Wednesday, uh, June 15th at 11 a.m. Central European time. So if you are interested in learning more about travel vocabulary and travel phrasal verbs, all the information to join that live Zoom lesson will be in the description box below. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share to help my content reach to the top. And let me know where you're all from. I love to receive comments from my students. And if you have any questions or recommendations on any videos that you would like, I'm happy to take recommendations and create more videos, more free English videos to help you become a fluent speaker very, very soon and as quickly as possible. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.